Oh, somebody's uh -oh. still connected to the Switch. Disconnect your pro controllers. Don, oh. oh, come on now. <laughs> From the mainstream. Greninja. I like how he says Greninja. He sounds like, like he answered like a right? hard question. Greninja. So mysterious and enigmatic. <laughs> Somebody's still connected to the setup. This Come is why on. we should ban Pro Controller. In the year I don't care what anyone says. In the year of our Lord, 2022, people still not disconnecting their Pro Controllers. They just think, oh, it's not going to happen. Nothing's nah. going to happen. Couldn't yeah, be, fine. be me. And then they get connected. And then it's they're like, you. Then they find out. Yeah, then they call out, who's still connected? <laughs> oh, it's me? I didn't mean to. Yeah. Oh, we got Diddy Kong on. He's going to rock that player three shield. Oh, Ooh, I think. the yellow shield. Joe J, yes. I played him at Waypoint. He is a Diddy Kong player. So... Basic Diddy Kong stuff. Um, I don't know how this matchup goes, to be honest, but I'm going to see how they're going to be playing it out. All right, so Tigre thus far starting to put on a little bit of that aggression that you were talking about before. Already throwing out some up smashes to try and catch Joji coming down off of the platform. Joji loves, loves just doing like up smash call outs whenever they're landing. And why not? You know, Diddy Kong has the fastest up smash in the game at frame five, so just throw it out. Might as well. All right, so I'm very interested to see once Joje is able to start getting some momentum into his favor, I'm interested to see how Tigre will respond because, I mean, like you were saying before, Greninja definitely has some problems when it comes to disadvantage and playing defensively. He, like, fastest move is back air or up air out of shield. I think, uh, it's actually, yeah, it's back air, but the problem is, is that... It, even though it's fast, it actually hits really high. It gets low profiled. Yeah, it hits really high. Yeah. It's a multi-hit, which doesn't work very well. Yeah, like, it's All just, right. like, right, right now, he's doing pretty well. He's not, even, as you see, Tigger didn't really shield. So he's just playing the Wigan and supposed to be played. Ooh, that's wow, it. okay. Yeah. Oh, got hit by the banana. All right, uses the jump to continue the shuriken pressure. Now it has Joje back off, or er, back into the corner. All right, good parries. Now putting Tigre off stage. See, but Joji just kind of scared and shield with the banana or trying to bait Tigre into hitting his shield, oh but God. not finding anything out of it. And some good down tilt pressure, though. Yeah, just dash walking and down tilt, getting that free combo and damage. 151. We're still living. Good recovery, not, not getting anti there. All right, yeah, he's reads the air that. dodge out, though. Good stuff from Joje. Keeping things very competitive. Only 9% extra credit for Tigre. Yeah, that was a really good comeback. He seems to have adapted to what he wants to do, so... And now it's it's in, fa it's in favor of Joje. Yeah, good read. Kind of the Greninja... The Gr Greninja quandary is just, like, once your opponent, like, starts getting your rhythm, especially on, you know, a lot of your great openers, like neutral air or forward air, which have just so much startup. Like, you really got to work on mixing up your tempo, but a great God, they, jab lock from yeah, Tigre. He was ready for that. The, the fast fall downer knew he was going to attack and get the double jab back to off smash. Easy damage. Now the Geekster game's kind of even out. Oof. Ooh, no punish on the whiffed counter. Joje not quite ready for it just yet. He probably thought it was going to hit. That's why he froze. Ooh, caught, uh, catches the jump from Tigre. Has to use the Hydro Pump to get back, but not finding the two frame, unfortunately, and getting forward air for his troubles. Yeah, like that's just staying at the ledge, waiting for his little option. Ledge drill past him, missed the forward tilt. Ooh. Ooh, gets the Phantom on the up smash. Now Joje in the corner. Waits oh, for the air dodge out just again, but misses the spacing. He, they're just getting spaghetti right now. That's it. He died in. He's able to combo, combo into forward air. Yep. Taking a moment, but let's see if Joje can once again bring things back into his favor, just like he did with Tigre's first stock. A lot of whiffs around this uh, platform right now. Joje really fishing for that down tilt and finally finding it. Might as well. It's a, I believe it's frame four is down tilt. I could be wrong. Ooh, using the uh, pushing his shield to put him right on the top of the banana. Grab. Yeah, Great the pivot grab just to cover his neutral air landing. Ooh, okay. Nice little banana extension. Greninja, Greninja's grab actually has a lot of range for what it does. Um, albeit it's, it's really slow and it has a lot of end lag, but it's, it's big for what it does. Yeah, especially the pivot grab. Like, you get that, that big old tornado graphic. Yeah. Okay. And resets with the down tilt into neutral that, that air. That was a pretty ballsy parry. Like, Greninja's down tilt is really fast, so he knew, like, he did that just on. Ooh, that's it. 
Yeah, that, that that parry was really good. I could tell like he was kind of understanding the way he's approaching now, like dash down tilt, and he just parried it. And because of that, pushed him off the stage and now got him the kill. Yeah, and I mean, like I was saying before, the <laughs> Greninja quandary, when you're facing a good player, like you can't just have one singular game plan. You have to have, you know, your roadmap of mix-ups. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, because like, uh, he... At that point, I think he just knew, like, I mean, it's not his fault. Greninja kind of has, like, that kind of approach option where, like, he just wants to bash back or down tilt. And apparently, like, you know, he was he was uh, confident knowing that he was going to probably just do that. So he got the parry, and that's it. Uh, I will be back in a little bit. I got it. All right. Well, then I guess it is just me to... Uh Keep things moving along, coming into this uh, game two. So we, unf we unfortunately do not have access to our bands from uh, from JoJ. Yeah. I'd have to imagine uh, Kalo is probably off the table. That's generally a pretty decent uh, Greninja stage, I think. Uh, just because Greninja really likes being able to use walls, although I guess Diddy does too. But I don't think it really changes that much, truthfully. But that's just my stupid opinion. <laughs> well, let's see. All right, we are we are going to be moving on to Final Destination for our game two, which I also agree with. I think um, Greninja doesn't really um, benefit from platforms too much. Uh, Platforms can generally mess up, uh, like, his up smash and things like that. Uh, characters have a tendency to fall out oh, and be put I into am. a tech situation. Hey, we're there's I, a game being yeah, played. I don't know why I was focusing on your face there. <laughs> I'm losing it. So, yeah, going to be seeing how FD changes things up for Tigre. But, yeah, right now it is... It is JoJ's momentum right now, and Greninja can be such a difficult... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Not like this. Let's go, Tigray. Not like this. Zero to death. <laughs> yeah, the Tigray zero to death. All very, right. Very expertly performed. Very, very good stuff. Just scared him to death and just ran right into the banana and died for it. All right. We're we're giving up stocks today. It's uh it's it's Christmas. It's the holidays. Alright, Tigre trying to use those shurikens to mix up his landing timings. Uh what was that? Jojo just charged the gun right in his face. A point blank gun. <laughs> the execution. Yeah, Tigre really having some trouble with these bananas so far. Uh, potentially trying to use that neutral air on landing to pick it up as well, but just not finding it. And the this is just Joji's game right now. Tigre has done, I think, less than 30% thus far and is maybe going to be losing his second stock soon. Ooh, okay. Getting some up air pressure, but no, unfortunately. And there, that's... One. Oh my god. We're talking a little bit Ooh. before about why Greninja back air is not great. It's also not great on uh, landing. <laughs> Unless you are able to land specifically with the third hit of it. But now Tigre potentially on his winner's stock. Trying to get a cheeky down tilt into forward air outside of the percentage window. And Joje is just continuing the pressure. Ooh, all right, great spacing there by Joje to catch off the Hydro Pump. No rage on Tigre it means that Joje is going to be living that up smash just a little bit longer. It's caught by the banana. Off stage once again. This is really where Greninja can struggle. That must have been a snapback right there. Okay. No monkey flip? Seemed like pretty easy high recovery right there. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Into the break dance, and okay. it's over. We that don't have the wide shot, so just watch as they fuse together. <laughs> They have become one. You got to be here in person to catch that fist bump. Oh, there we go. For some reason, the wide shot keeps dying, so... <laughs> well, that's... <laughs> that's a problem. Yeah. Either way, good ga good showing from uh, JoJ keeping his composure after uh, SDing. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, great adaptation, especially from JoJo. That's you know, that's what you got to do against a Greninja. You got to make them uncomfortable 
in their tempo. And I feel like that, you know, more than most, against most characters. Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah, that's like against the... the I thought you didn't magic. finish your sentence. No, no, no. no like, I was, more I than meant, most characters. No, I meant like... Doesn't elaborate. Sp specifically that against Greninja. 